Hey spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as the Aztecs. So, where we left off, we had put together our very nice uh, empire. We are building the Forbidden City and just generally speaking building infrastructure. So a few people have questions why I am not going to war with Sumeria. Um, and the main answer is, I don't, I don't need to. I don't have to go to war with him. There was also another question, uh, why I wasn't abusing wall production overflows. And that's because I'm about to get uh, civil engineering. And you can see here down the bottom, uh, makes obsolete policy limes. And limes is the policy that gives you the plus 100% production towards defensive buildings. So uh, that's not really going to be a viable thing. And I've already used up the vast majority of the chops in my empire. And I actually was taking advantage of it a lot of the time. I did forget here and there, but, you know, if I was playing more optimally, yeah, I would take take advantage of it <coughs> more often. But I, I, I feel like I took advantage of it to a, a reasonable, reasonable degree. And we have this guy here. We have all of the districts built in here. We are building the art museum. I could place a mon. I did not mean to click that. I did not mean to click that. That was an accident. I was only going to hover over it, but I, I guess we have clicked on it now. If facts don't fit the theory, change the facts. Right. We have Oxford University, <clears throat> plus 20% science in the city. This would be worth it to build. We also have plus one food from plantations now, so that's quite nice as well. You can see these are now giving us more food. Um... So, where could I build the Oxford University? I could actually build it over here if I wanted to. I don't think we will build it over here. <clears throat> I could also build it here. And I think I will. I'll spend a turn on medieval walls. And let's see, we have two envoys here. I'm going to get to level three with Nan Modal. To pick up the plus two culture in every amphitheater, that can be quite valuable. Then we'll go into the city, and you'll see a small little culture jump here. About 6.2 culture, which is not a huge amount by any stretch of the imagination. However, it's not a very small amount either. It's a, it's a reasonably sizable amount. We're going to build ancient walls here, and then walk this over to chop. You are going to continue to insert your production into the campus that will finish the campus and we can get started on the library because we want our science income to increase <clears throat> we're going to keep exploring unit needs orders over here we are going to improve the fish very good we already have that locked in and we'll go to the next turn we have a builder finishing here and we can claim a new great person. Plus one culture from workshops is quite nice. I would maybe like to get this guy. Uh, so, where do we have an empty... We don't really have an empty one, do we? But this guy will get us a Eureka from the modern era, which is over here. Hopefully it'll be something useful. We'll see. And electricity has advanced. That actually will save me quite a bit of production, so I don't need to build privateers now. That is handy. I have only wasted uh, 280 production, and now I no longer have to do that. And instead I can actually do other things. For example, I could get the Oxford University over here. And in fact, this might not be a bad city, only I have already started to build it here in my capital. You're going to wait there. Um, let's see. Didn't mean to place the factory. That was a mistake. Uh, I could get the plus one amenity from entertainment. I'm pretty good on amenities. I could get a theater square for more culture. I could get a holy site for more faith. I'm trying to think what would be a reasonable thing to do in this city. Well, one of the things we could do is just simply rework campus research projects. <clears throat> that would give us more science and, more, more importantly, more great pe people points towards great scientists. However, I'm not going to go super hardcore optimization mode. I'm just instead... Hmm. Let's grab... 
the culture would be nice. I could get the production. I could get extra production in here, which would mean any trade routes out to the city would be even better in terms of production. We completed a builder over here. We're going to improve the amber. Then we're going to insert a builder into the commercial hub. Oh, we're not quite ready to do that. And we'll build the monument. This trade route can be relocated to the... Uh, well, actually, we're going to keep it in place, but we're going to keep trading with our dear friend Sumeria. This one has plus nine gold all the way up there. Excellent. And let's see. We can trade with Korea for a little bit of money and food and stuff like that. You are going to move there. We'll switch to the commercial hub. We'll insert production in. We'll switch back to the university. You're going to come this way to scout for me. And we'll go to the next turn. Unit needs orders here. We're going to wait one more turn to chop. We're going to switch to the commercial hub, insert production, switch back to the library. Then we are going to switch to the commercial hub, insert production, switch to the monument. You're going to move into the ocean. We are in fact going to use you to get the extra culture from workshops. It's not a huge amount of culture, about six culture, but every little bit of culture helps. We'll scout here, we'll scout here. We've also almost entirely revealed the map. There's only a very small amount of the map left to reveal. I could be using my ironclads to help explore, but I don't I don't really mind. I kind of just want to keep them where they belong, <clears throat> defending my coast. We stole gold, excellent, and that gives us a promotion. <clears throat> Let's see, Quartermaster is a great promotion, so we'll just pick it up in case we need to use him to defend. I mean, we'll be using him to defend our spaceports later. We're going to switch to the commercial hub and insert production into it and grab the monument. And now that the wall is near completion, we are going to go into our social policies here. We're going to unlock it. We're going to remove the unit discounts. We're going to slot in limes, confirm that policy. We are going to chop for... About 200 production to go towards the Oxford University. I'll shave a couple of turns off that. And that 20% science bonus is worth going for in terms of wonders. It's going to have this guy go AFK. We're going to insert production into the commercial hub. Switch back to the library. You are going to use the overflow here as well to help finish the art museum into turns excellent and then we'll continue to explore with this guy i think we've more or less explored all of the map i mean we could go in and do all this sorts of stuff but this guy is just going to come back up here and guard our cities i'm going to pop him up there you're going to go onto alert and we'll go to the next turn a lot of what we're doing now is <clears throat> as i said it, it, there's not really much strategy or tactics that's really complicated we have unlocked the sewer and because we want to get the um, inspiration for suffrage, we're going to want to build four sewers. I think another shipyard might be okay over here. Well, I think I have it. Where was it? Not a factory. Where, 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 wait, 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 wait. Was it over here? That I don't have the shipyard? I don't have the shipyard somewhere. Ah, it's in here. So the shipyard here could be quite helpful because it would give it plus two production and a little bit of food and gold. So we're going to pick that up. We're also going to choose production here. We could pick up stock exchanges. I want to wait for the level 2 alliance. Which is about just over um, 6 turns away. So probably somewhere in the region of 6 to 10 turns. Um, so we can get one more tech before we go for chemistry and not lose any value. <coughs> And I think a good one to go for might be to get... We're not going to get this coal mine one, unfortunately. Um, but we could go ahead and grab the stock exchange. It's a building we can invest production into for gold. Uh, we've completed the factory over here. Let's grab the bank to continue to grow our gold income. We're going to switch to this. Insert production. And we will, in fact, finish the... We will, in fact, finish the commercial hub as well. We completed the shipyard over here 
Um, a campus wouldn't be a miss in here, but I think I'm going to grab a theater square right there because it's a pretty good theater square. And we will need a builder. Let's see, what sort of infrastructure do you still have available? Why don't you insert into that? We will start building a builder. And you are going to continue to siphon funds for me. Uh, I do need to check if I have any more spies available to continue to get gold. Gold is basically like production that you can place anywhere on the map that you want. Looks like I'm the Susan of Buenos Aires. I think it would be worth it now to go up to this, but I can't quite do that yet. I need to go to the next era, which will be a golden age for us, and it's about nine turns away. We've completed the art museum over here. I'd like to place another one. There is a plus five um, commercial hub here, but I don't think I want to place that. In fact, I think a holy site in this city would actually be quite good. So I'm going to place a holy site right here. And that will give me some good value. We completed the commercial hub over in Tlacopan. We are going to grab ourselves a university. And we're going to build a sewer here because we need four of those. We're going to switch to the commercial hub and insert production to finish it. Excellent. And then we're immediately going to build a sewer just to finish it off so that we can get the uh, very nice uh, stuff going for us. The housing is quite nice too. There's nationalism. Uh, this offers us the ability to get a boost by having cores. So we're going to look for units to combine together. Let's see here. We have our two crossbowmen that we can combine. We have our two cannons here that we can combine. And I'm pretty sure I have eagle warriors that would very happily combine together as well to give me yet another core, which should give us the boost towards mobilization. Might be okay to get Scorched Earth as well. I, don't, I usually skip that one because it's not super important. We completed the factory in here and we can build a new district. A harbor might not be too awful. A theater square here. This one's plus three. It's a really good theater square. Um, I'm not going to do that. It costs me 316 production, whereas a builder could complete it um, for 186 production with some build charges to spare. So... As the Aztecs, it's more efficient to build builders to build your districts than it is to actually build your districts, which is quite a powerful ability, if you ask me. You're actually just going to go here and alert to protect my territory. You have a promotion available. Uh, I like the idea of getting Ace Driver. This will make it less likely that he will get captured. I'm going to place this guy right here. We're going to switch to the theater square, insert production into it, and then switch back to a builder. And we'll go to the next turn. Economics is a subject that does Stock exchange not and Big Ben are available. Stock exchange is a low priority building for us. How many turns until we get our level 2 alliance? It's looking like about... 1 to 3 turns. So if it only takes us 7 turns to finish that... That is perfectly reasonable. Um, I might just grab this just in case Huey hasn't been taken and it'll delay this by one turn as well, meaning we'll get the maximum amount of science out of the chemistry boost. <clears throat> we definitely want to get our research labs up early. Let's move these guys closer together so they can combine. We are going to continue to steal money here. We're going to swap over to the theater square, insert production, and switch back. We could build the Ruhr Valley. How long would it take? 22 turns. That would actually make this city really, really powerful. Um, I'm going to finish the builder, and then I'll build the Ruhr Valley. In fact, I'm going to put a pin there to remind myself. And the reason I'm able to just go for any wonder I want is because... <clears throat> uh, I'm going to reject that. 
mistake. The reason I'm able to go for them is just simply because our um, our stuff is let's see, plus one amenity for cities of the garrison, loyalty patrician, unit maintenance. I like the one that gives me movement speed. Just makes my moving my builders around a little easier. Um, put a pin here called Rur. Okay, we completed a sewer up here. Now remember, the stock exchange is a low priority building for me. So it's just something I might do if I have nothing else left. The barracks would provide me with housing and production. So would the stable. I'm going to grab the barracks. We're going to combine these together to get the boost for nationalism. Very nice. You're going to switch to the theater square. Insert your production and then immediately switch back to the Builder. And because we're on Prince difficulty, um, it's quite easy for us to just get Wonders. If I was playing on a harder difficulty, I would have to go and be a little bit more careful about which Wonders I went for. <clears throat> Plus three error score from having a really good theater square over here. Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab the sewer. Again, because we do need the sewers for the boost that we're looking for. And we're going to just send you over there. We're about to finish your bank, which will increase our gold income. Our knowledge of chemistry has been boosted. And now it'll only take three turns to get it. And then we'll be able to start building research labs. We are going to trade with our ally again. Let's look for a city with relatively high income. Uh, eight is a decent amount. We completed the bank in here. I could go for the stock exchange. I could go for the sewer. I could build the Putala Palace. I know somebody else is building that, however. These are two good wonders that I might go for. Um, but yeah, I think, um, I think I already have a place I'm going to build the Ruhr Valley. And I know somebody else is building the Putala Palace, so I don't plan on getting those. Instead, what I'll do is I could get the stock exchange. It is <clears throat> quite expensive for not that much benefit. I'm going to go ahead and grab the sewer. Because this city does, uh, well, could use more population. Although, this would be a really efficient place to build builders. But mainly I'm using Liang as a, um, <clears throat> I get the benefit from just having a governor assigned. Which is actually something I'm going to start taking advantage of more. I'm going to look for cities with low housing. This city right here has low housing. So I'm just going to stick a governor that I don't care about into it, like this guy. That will give the city more housing and amenities uh, because of the government building that I chose earlier on in the game, the uh, audience chamber. We finished a builder here. We'll move him over there. We'll switch to the theater square and we'll add production to a district. We are going to now build the Ruhr Valley right there. It'll take us 22 turns, which is a pretty quick Ruhr Valley. We finished a barracks over here. Grab the armory. We are going to trade with our ally Samaria. I'm going to start mobilizing all of my trade routes to be centralized in my capital. You're going to fortify there. We'll go to the next turn. We have a sewer completed. We're going to claim our great person. This is a great artist. And he will teleport over to this city because this is where the art museum is we have completed a sewer here we want to get the market it doesn't give us a trade route but it is worth gold and gold is very valuable because it's basically production that you can move around the map speaking of which is there anything in here that i could buy it's never worth it to buy stuff like stock exchanges it can be worth it to buy buildings like amphitheaters and stuff like that okay i have five build charges Let's see Definitely could improve that there. We'll go to the next turn. Three luxuries for horses and some gold. That's super not worth it for me. So I'm going to skip out on that one. <coughs> uh, I can't promise you that. We're going to go ahead and look up here. You can see that I have... 233 science per turn compared to uh, Samaria's 158.8. So 
even if they were on deity, I would be still pretty on par with them in terms of science right now. I'm also generating a decent amount of culture. I'm top culture in science, which means I'm well on my way to a scientific victory. This particular uh, great scientist, I don't care about. He doesn't do anything. He gives me two eureka moments from the industrial or modern era. I have all of the industrial era boosts. So would it be worth two eurekas in here? Well, let's see. I have combustion. I could get steel. Like it's worth some science to, to get that guy. But I would be worried I would miss out on what the next guy is and how good he would be. So I'm going to pass on that. And you can see this guy is worth a comparable amount of, of, um, of science. We need to find ourselves a really good natural wonder to take advantage of that. There's one here. Um, is there like a four tile natural wonder? This is when I need to like remember things. It is a 1,500 natural wonder. That's how much science that would be worth. Didn't I have a scout up here? Perhaps my scout died and I wasn't paying attention. I can't remember what... Ah, here we go. So I'm going to place him probably up here and get the three uh, 1,500 signs from this. The best ones are like the ones that you can actually walk onto and they're four tiles. I can't, there's like a one that's like a marsh type thing. Why don't you escape by vehicle? Okay, he was captured by Korea. make a deal uh, it's worth it to pay 400 science because if he gets at least one commercial hub stealing project off he'll have paid for himself so we'll pay the 400 gold to get him back we're gonna create the great work of art and some of you guys were asking me about how, what the exploit with great works is so I'm gonna go into Korea here and make a deal and with this new great work if I try to offer it to her she will actually give me everything she has. So she will give me all of her money. She will give me all of her luxuries. She will give me all of her horses. She will give me all of her other great works. And this is just a bug. Because for some reason, the same turn that a great work is created, its value is basically infinite. Um, and so I don't, I don't take advantage of that. Um, I have nothing against it. But the people who watch my videos ask me not to take advantage of it anymore, and so I don't. We're going to send this guy basically straight back to Yeonju to start stealing from Korea again. We're going to build a mine right here. <coughs> and we'll lock that in. And uh, yeah, you can see we're producing a lot in here. Very, 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 very well built city in my opinion thanks to the uh, Tundra benefits. Now we have access to research labs. This is a high priority building, so we're gonna wanna make make sure that we build this pretty quickly in most of our cities. Um, the power plant could be another good building to get a hold of for the extra 508 uh, plus four production. Um, also the great engineer point per turn is quite useful too, because great engineers are actually pretty competitive in terms of um, a lot of people try to get them. So we'll make our way up towards electricity. We completed the holy site over here. Uh, I think I'm going to build the holy site because it's a way for me to generate extra culture. I know I kind of said that I wasn't going to build theater squares this game because I went for the holy site culture thing. But uh, that shows how well that worked out, right? We're going to create another sculpture. And now I'll probably be able to demonstrate this bug even better. So this is the one from before. Now Korea will probably take like a couple hundred gold for this, right? And this is the one that was created last turn. So she would give me about this. Whereas if I offered this, there's some bug where she will just give me everything she has. And you know, you're free to take advantage of that. It can make you win DD games very easily. I hope that will be fixed for Rise and Fall. I don't know if it will be. Or not Rise and Fall, sorry, for Gathering Storm. Um, but from here on out, I'm going to have to make these episodes a little bit shorter. It's the Industrial Revolution. And, and now we have the availability to build neighborhoods. Um, and I want to get at least one neighborhood with breathtaking uh, things. We're also going to make a dedication here before we end. We got a heroic age. We're going to take Reform the Coinage. 
This gives campuses the ability to provide. Uh, we're going to take reform the coinage. Uh, so there's three types of ages. Um, and I guess I didn't really explain this at any point in the game. Basically, a dark age is when bad things happen. You don't get a lot of error score. You get a negative um, loyalty penalty. And you get access to some powerful uh, civic cards to try and catch up. Uh, in a normal age, you just get a normal age, nothing special. You just get the ability to not have a huge penalty to your loyalty, and you can still make a dedication. A uh, uh, golden age is when you do get enough error score, and you're in a normal age, or a golden age, and you go from a normal age or a golden age to a golden age, you can then make one dedication in one of these things, and these change every era. In a heroic age, that's when you go from a dark age to a golden age, and that gives you a heroic age, which allows you to take three of these dedications. We're going to take Reform the Coinage, which gives us plus three gold per specialty district in the foreign city. Now remember, we have slotted into government here the Vissel Banking card, which also gives us plus two gold and plus two food for trading with our ally. And we're already trading with Sumeria. So if I take this dedication... I'm going to get a lot more gold from trading with my allies because this only applies to international trade routes. Additionally, Sumeria is a scientific ally to me, so they will be worth extra science when I trade with them. Heartbeat of Steam gives me plus 10% production towards industrial area and later wonders. It also gives my campus district's science adjacency bonus to be turned into production. So this is a great way to generate production in the late mid to the mid-late game, which is we're kind of entering into the late game now. Hicks Sunt Dracones um, is more about settling on other continents. If I wanted to go settle over here, I would maybe take this. Um, you know what? <clears throat> it's tempting it is the sort of game for it there is like an open coastline over here that we could settle maybe we could show off why late game settlements aren't worth it I would want to go for scorched earth then if I would do that which would delay me up around here but if I pick up scorched earth that'll get me the expropriation policy so we will do that we have completed the sewer over here, and I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!